I'm just going to review the Wiggy's Freedom Shelter. Now, slight differences between the Wiggy's Freedom Shelter and the Ecotet. The Wiggy's Freedom Shelter is much lighter uh, and it compresses a lot better. Um, also, Wiggy uh, doesn't believe in Gore-Tex and to be fair, the only way my Gore-Tex jackets really vent is when you unzip the, the vents under the arms and you open it up, otherwise you're just sweaty inside. So. Gore-Tex really isn't all that. However, having said that, the Gore-Tex um, articles in the Army do tend to be somewhat durable. Um, also, the Wiggies doesn't have the uh, buttons that you would find on the old ones. And when I'm saying old ones, I was, I was in the Army 84 to 88. So uh, those had buttons on them and you could snap them. And that was made it a bit easy to um, convert them into, you know, a long coat or something else. But anyway, let's get into the Ecotat. Now, what Wiggy will send you will be a bundle like this. And you'll get something in a pouch. Um, this is the screen that fits the Ecotat. It's for the warm weather configuration, and I'll show you how to do that too. Um, Wiggy will give you the elastic tie downs. He'll give you four long and four short. Uh, the Ecotat is not symmetrical. Uh, it's wide at one side and narrow at the, the feet, so uh, hence long and short tie downs. Now, we'll also get the poles, okay, we'll just drop those there, okay, and the Ecotet can be set up quite quickly, right. so that one's the go there, there we go, okay, that's uh, the long, we'll set this up. Okay, that's for the short side. Now, you'll notice I have two leftover poles. These aren't spares. These are used with the warm weather configuration, and I'll show you that in a moment. Now, Wiggy also gives us some nice um, uh, stakes. The Ecotat, I've folded into thirds. And then it fits in the stuff sack quite nicely. Okay, this is what it looks like. Um, you'll notice there's a hood on it. And that's because it can be used as a poncho. But we're going to use it as a one-man shelter. So we're going to take the tie-down string. We're going to draw it tight to close off the aperture. And then we're going to wrap this around here. Okay, and then we'll close it off one more time, like so. Okay, now spread it out. There we go. Now, you'll see um, that there is like a little foot that the tent pole will eventually seat in. And then there's a loop. First, we'll just put it through the through the loop. Okay, there we go. And then do this. Okay. Now there's like a sleeve here, uh, a little sleeve. Don't put it directly under the flap. Put it through the sleeve, and then put it through the other side. Now this is something you got to be careful of, right? You see, there's a another foot. You can insert the pole in. That's above the zipper. Don't use that one. Zipper, there's one underneath it. Use that one. Were you, you to use the one above the zipper, that is too short. You will snap the tent pole. So, right. So now, I've got the first, first bit set up there. Now, I've got the 
short side and we'll do the same thing we'll first put it through the loop and then we'll run it through the the channel there's like a little fabric channel and again we're not going to use the one on this side uh, above the zipper we're going to use below so now we're going to seat this here Be careful here in Switzerland in autumn in late evening in early evening it's getting actually quite cold so your hands are not working too well right now this is where the the, the uh, elastic tie straps come in play uh, come into play so you'll see on on the corners are little webbing um, attachment points, right? You put the elastic strap through there, okay? So you put one through that side, and on the other side, you'll have another one. Let me find it here, okay? There we go. So there's the other one there. By the way, if you're curious what that lake's called behind me, it's called the Klantersee uh, in Switzerland. Uh, very beautiful country to trek in. So, right. So I've got these. What do I do with them? Well, I would normally use the stakes to uh, kind of nail these things down. There's, if you see, I'm in kind of a valley. I'm surrounded by mountains on both sides and there's scree absolutely everywhere. You can't go even an inch into the dirt without hitting, hitting even more rock. Um, trying to drive a stake in the ground, not possible. So, what I am going to do is just use a rock and stretch it out that way. Okay, so we have one here. Okay, so that's looking a little bit more like what we expect. Now you see these things here, there's this like little elastic, uh, there's a little plastic circle with a hook on it. I believe that is used for when you're trying to turn it into a long or a short coat, you would use it uh, in that configuration. But for setting up the one-man shelter, you don't need it. So when you see this hook thing, don't worry about it. Okay, right. So now, we're going to go to the other end, and we're going to go put, oh, oh, no, wait a minute, let me get my short one. Take two short ones, okay, so we'll loop it through here, there we go, and then we'll loop it through here on the other one. And it looks just like that. And we get it through. Right, okay. So there we go. So now, we'll that out a minute. Run a little bit. And we'll take two more rocks. And we'll take another rock, and we're almost home. Right. So, okay. It's meant to be tactical. It was designed for military use. Okay. So low pro profile was. Um, the interest of the military when they designed these things. So in terms of eating, getting dressed, yes, very tight. But on the, the flip side, the low profile means that you can heat this thing up pretty quickly with your own body heat. In big dome tents, big dome tents always tend to be cold. You don't gener generate enough body heat, you know, at in, in, in any given point in time to really 
make those things terribly warm. But just one person in here, um, yes, you will get warm quite quickly. Which brings me to the next feature, the Ecotec. Because you will get warm and when you exhale, uh, you know, you're breathing, it will get wet on the inside of the Ecotec. Now, there's, there's vents at each end, right? Okay? And there's screens on each end. Uh, underneath those those tabs I pulled down, which I'll show you in a second. Um, it's not an option to reach through once you're in the Ecotet and, you know, vent it. You need to make that election before you get undressed and you get into your sleeping bag. Now, I'm going to show you something in terms of venting. You can leave it fully vented. Let me get this. Okay. So... You can see, uh, you got the vent there, and you'll notice there's two sets of um, Velcro tabs there, and I'll show you about that in a bit. Okay, same thing. Now, what you can do with just a slight vent, use the first tabs. This, if you use the second tab, it's fully closed. But I would suggest you vent it to some degree, you allow some of the moisture to escape. You've got our net, as you can see, there's a zipper on one side and no zipper on the other side. That's because if you look in here, we've got a zipper. Okay, so that's why it's not present on the other one. There we go. Okay. Let me show you what it looks like when it's started. You can see I've mated one of each end to the existing zipper. Bring this around. Okay. This is the warm weather configuration I'm showing you. Oop. Part of the fabric. This is where our uh, two extra stakes come in place. What we're going to do is we're going to extend on each side the um, the tent the tent rods um, by one extra length and that will expose the screen right so let's do that now okay so you just made it in that end and hopefully it'll cooperate and go in the in the foot okay there we go And then take this one. Right. So this would be the warm weather configuration of the Ecotec. So very versatile. Um, Again, could use this as a poncho. If you've got a lot of gear, a uh, big backpack, you could, you could throw this over you and the pack while you're yomping and uh, keep everything dry. It also has other configurations. You can turn it into a short coat or a, a great coat. Uh, I'm going to show you one other 
way you can um, you can use this thing. Um, and it's probably I would say when I was in 10 Special Forces group, it was an 18 Charlie. Um, I, w I probably used it the way I'm going to show you about 50% of the time, and it's a lot easier. This not that this is hard, okay? It's taking a little bit longer because I'm demonstrating it. I can have the thing put up in about two minutes if I'm not explaining it and trying to show things. You can, you, you, two minutes before dark, you can have your shelter put up if you're racing, racing the night. Right, so let me show you another way you can set this thing up. Okay, all right, let's take it, take it all apart. The final configuration I'm gonna show you, so I'm gonna get myself untangled from this thing is okay we're gonna unzip the whole thing this will really give you broad surface area uh, in terms of shelter and as I say when I was in Army Special Forces I probably used this configuration well probably even more than half the time it's just quick uh, quick and easy um, you just want to set up a hooch quickly as you can and get your head down. Right, let me get this little Okay. Lay it out flat. Now. This is actually how I remembered using Ecotets more than anything else. Okay. You take some bungee cords. If you're in a forest um, with sufficient trees, which would be a forest, remember the place we had the elastic tie downs um, on on each end. Well, let's see. well not actually you use that one. On each corner, there's going to be a webbing loop, right? All you need to do: bungee cord through that, loop it around the tree, and then. On the far side, same thing, bungee cord, wrap it around the tree on those other corners. So now you've got an area of cover as wide as the whole Ecotat, uh, uh, quite a broad area. And so if you just wanted to string up a hooch without setting up um, poles or doing any of that stuff, unzip, unzip. Uh, bungee cord around tree, bungee cord around tree, bungee cord around tree, bungee cord around tree, you got a shelter. You're done. Wiggies is the only company selling the Ecotet, but it is called a freedom shelter. Okay, so if you're searching for Ecotet, you might not see this thing come up necessarily. So it went on the Wiggies website, very fast service. The quality is excellent, really good quality. The stitching, um, you know, the, the seams and everything, it's just very well made bit of kit. It only comes in um, digital camo, um, but yes, highly recommend it. It's not cheap. I paid, uh, well, net of taxes and export, um, three, $375. But um, if you want to be comfortable and you're living off grid and you care about, you know, a quality shelter that's lightweight and, you know, infinitely configurable, this is an excellent use of your money.